Hey, Shalom Akim, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekwa Kadash. Double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of Grip, Mr. Odu, well, this is Bram Nasha, D.C. Camp, with another short lesson to edify the hopeful elect. As you can see on the screen, this idea of Esau microchipping the people upon the face of the earth, it's real, his intents are real. Right, Holy Scriptures already talked about it. And the men of the Lord will take heed. All right, and this is Esau using his uh, comic, you know, comic shows, you know, his uh, comedy segments on his TV networks to promote accepting the mark of the beast. And who else would he start with? The so-called black women, all right? The women of these nations. And we always want to promote convenience. For these women, because Esau already knows that the women are the weak vessel, and he will take advantage of every opportunity he has to work on their minds, to gain to gain their so-called blind trust, and to manipulate their households. Well, and this is how how messed up you know the world has become. All right, because under Esau's rulership, these women just live their lives anyhow they like. And they're going to suffer the consequences. And the men of the Lord are going to take note and be uh, very, very you know, uh, prudent in the way they deal with women like this. All right? Because I came, you know, in these last days, man, if you, if you think, you know, you, you're discreet, you haven't seen nothing yet. Just wait to see. Just see how the Lord, Yahweh, Shema, Shai, Shema, Kwakodash, will bless you with that spirit of discretion. Because, uh, you, you you're gonna notice the difference, you know, when when that Musa blesses you with that spirit of growth, you know that spiritual growth. You're gonna notice the differences that the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai has bestowed upon you. So we go directly to this simple precept here. This is from the book of uh, Micah, and then you read from verse five. It says, "Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence." Right. Do not put faith, all right, your faith in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lies in thy bosom, all right. So that's one thing that man of the Lord have to understand, man. The Musa has made the man the head, and the head has to be in charge. He needs to know how to run his affairs, you know, to know how to know how to uh, protect himself from a weak vessel. Right, that's the reason why the Musa has given us these precepts, man. You know, to help us guide our thoughts, you know, to give us that spirit of repentance, to hold on to his word in sincerity and truth, you know, to know how to operate, to know how to speak to people. All right, and that's a blessing, all right, to know how to be stern and stay on stay in line. All right, because uh, this world is is out of whack, there's no discipline. Of the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai on the face of the earth. That's why Esau is able to move with madness. He has no discipline. All right. So um, you just have to understand, man. The, the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai is, is watching. You know, he's taking notice of what's going on, and uh, he has this reward. You know, and the scripture talks about uh, Yahweh Shai is bringing his reward with him. You know, according to every man's work. All right, so I just got to pray that I can, you know, that uh, you accept the challenges that comes with preaching this gospel. You know, certain things will be done in your household that will piss you off, but you don't have any control over it because uh, the Lord, the Abba Shema is going to create that separation. All right, it's going to divide the people that are causing troubles, <laughs> you know, making your life difficult. You know, it's going to separate them from you. Okay, so this is the book of First uh, Ezra, chapter four. I go straight to verse uh, twenty-six. He says, "Yea, many there be that have run out of their wit for women, and become servants for their sake." All right, and then he says in verse twenty-seven, "Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women." So a lot of men that uh, despise the word of the Lord, thereby Shema Shai will follow after these women. To accept the mark of the beast, all right, because uh, they want to please their women, 
they want to see their children they want to keep their, their family together and happy you know and the goals directly for this instant gratification all right so that lets you know man that uh once the woman has is done and the man follows suit that's it for that household man all right so the lord Shema Shah is calling out to his men to be a standard you know to be a a, 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 a hedge against all this madness that's coming upon the face of the earth all right a hedge for you know for for his family all right that's what faith is all about you know a man that's willing to stand for what is true unto the end all right and when you look at the whole chapter for uh first Ezra chapter four it tells you about uh the issues in the kingdom of uh of this so-called Babylonians man you know you have to understand why uh, the world is the way it is okay and then you go and look at uh, the, the book of Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 15 and then it says the simple believeth every word but the prudent man looketh well to his going all right so you go back and look at this uh you see this image right there you see it just let you know the women are simple you know you read the book of job it tells you about uh these women lack wisdom the most high deprived these women of wisdom so you know it's uh it's sad but it is what it is man. it's part of that bitter part of the journey okay you just have to accept that uh, a lot of folks will be destroyed for treating the word of the Lord by Shema Shai as a child's play, as as a comedy, you know. So it's beautiful, man, to see the judgment of the Lord by Shema Shai on those that take uh, the words of the Lord by Shema Shai lightly, man. You know, it pisses you off, but at the same time, you just have to understand this is the most size operation, you know. So it's going to weed out those that do not have faith from those that have faith, you know. It's bringing that division. All right, so you just have to be patient. You know, you have to suffer, you know, to do this work. You know, you shouldn't be ashamed to accept that the, lo the losses you're going to have wouldn't be the losses you're going to hold on to. <laughs> will be the losses the Lord there by Shema Shah doesn't want you to have. All right, so you should go ahead and look at uh, the book of Acts. Acts chapter 10. And uh, look at verse 25. You know, it's all simple. You know, this, the scriptures is not complicated. You know, the milk really helps you build. And when you, you're building, you still got to use more milk, you know, and then use the milk, the, the meat. All right. So this is um, Acts chapter. Give me one second. Let me just. Uh, Do a quick uh, search for this precept. All right, so this Acts chapter 20, verse uh, 27, and it says, For I have not shown to declare unto you all the counsel of the Lord, the Abba, Shema, and Shai. And that's the beautiful thing of uh, serving the Lord. You know, you accept the the responsibility of preaching this gospel all right and then you read verse 28 it says take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the holy spirit had made you overseers that's why the men of the lord and highways and byways are constantly examining the prophecies that are taking place on the face of the earth they examine the doctrines that's being taught you know what zabak has done is terrible you know, and the Lord Abba Shema Shah will, will rebuke him for that, you know. So then he says to feed the church of Yahweh by Shem Yahshah, by Shem Kakadash, which he had purchased with his own blood. All right, and that's that's Yahweh Shai. You know, he purchased the, 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 the elect with his blood. You know, he sacrificed his life for the salvation of the elect. And for someone to say that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast, 
You know, they, they're taking away from the validity of the gospel. You know, they're putting the Lord Yahweh Shemai Shai to open shame. And that's not what the Lord Yahweh Shemai Shai expects his prophet to do. Those that claim to be his prophet, the Lord Yahweh Shemai Shai doesn't expect them to do that. All right? And then Yahweh Shai says, you know, by their fruits you shall know them. All right? So, it's evident in these last days, man, the, a lot of people will be exposed for being phonies. You know, for pushing that false doctrine, you know, right? For making people go along with the programs to accept the mark, mark of the beast and its image, all right? And then you look at the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter twelve, and then you look at uh, verse thirteen, and then he says, uh, "Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter: Fear Yahweh and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man." That's all the Lord Yabashim is asking for, man. To have faith and keep the laws to the best of your ability. Understand the meaning behind keeping the laws. All right, You can't keep it perfectly, but at least you need to have an understanding of why the law was there in the first place. All right? And you have to build, on the, build, build your faith up, you know, your, your people of faith. All right? That's why, that's why you know, the Lord Yabashim is shy raised up Moses, raised up the prophets, all right, to be an example to the elect, all right, and then our final precept, book of uh, Revelation, chapter 12, and then you look at uh, verses 10 and 11, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our power day and night so this Edomite elite they've done so much damage man to the you know to the people upon the face of the earth man you know they've caused so much destruction Right, they've done so much evil that the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai has to take them out. Right, and they keep on bringing all these complaints to the Most High against us, saying that you know we should be uh, discontinued from our heritage, that the Most High should choose them because uh, our people are going off. But hey, this Edom is not causing our people to go off. You know, they break up the families, they destroy the food. All right. The, make up unnecessary laws to uh, punish our people and Esau would not want to take responsibility for the evil he has done so why would the Lord Yabba Shema Shai want to listen to him so it's that simple okay and then you read uh, verse 11 and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb all right just like we read in the book of uh, book of Acts chapter 20 it tells you how Shai purchased, purchased the church with his blood. All right, and those are the, the, the men, women, and children that have faith in the Lord. All right, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. They refused to get the Arab fire deadship. They refused to bow down and accept the doctrines of falsehood, the doctrines of death. The doctrines of darkness, all right? The image of the beast, all right? So all these philosophies that Esau is pushing, the ones that have not been uh, cast away, namely the elect, will resist. They don't have to pick up any weapons. All they need is just faith in the Lord. They are by Shema and Shai, and they are good. They are set, all right? And by the word of their testimony, Whose testimony? The words of Yahweh Shai. The laws, statutes, and commandments, and the prophecies. All right, that's what they hold on to, and they love not their lives unto the dead. So they understood what it meant to accept this responsibility that it will cost you your life to serve the Lord in righteousness. Having faith in the Lord can cost you your life, and that's not uh, something to to play around with. You know, it's not something, you know, you just say, oh, well, it's going to be done. But you're still in the flesh. You know, you have certain moods. But at the same time, 
the Spirit of the Lord will encourage you to understand the meaning of life and the meaning of death. Alright, to understand the transition. Alright, so that was the point there, Akim. Just gotta be you know, prayerful in the spirit that you do not uh, fall prey to all the wiles of the devil. You know, to push that uh, RFID microchip. Because uh, it's not funny. It's nothing, there's nothing hilarious about promoting evil. Promoting uh, uh, disobedience against the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai. It's not a uh, child's play, it's not hilarious, it's just sad, you know, that a so-called black woman <laughs> will volunteer, you know, to partake in such a, 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 a comedy skit. So that was the point that I came, you know, it just proves that to this, to these women, they're not serious about the gospel of the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai. And the vast majority of them, you know, just like King Solomon said, you know, out of a thousand men, he found one. But out of hundred thousand women, he found none. So, uh, you just got to be prayerful in the spirit and pray that the Lord Yabba Shem Shai gives you that stone cold, you know, keen eyesight like a dragon to make the proper decisions, to understand the reasons why you're serving the Lord. So that way you don't lose your focus. All right, I can, that was the point. So you hope you're edified on that. I pray that the Lord Yahweh Hashem I give you the, the you know the the courage and the faith to resist unto death. Shalom.